want to do a video review of these 24-7 Yugoslavian uh, Mausers that I got today from J&J Cells for $99 each. Um, they were uh, rusted out special against Miss Special, so I thought I'd uh, give a little bit of review on them. They do have a little bit of rust on them. This one's not too bad, um, and it's missing the, the shroud over the front sight. Um, but everything works. It's kind of gummed up with some Cosmoline uh, mud, but everything works. It fires, um, and everything seems to be seems to be fine, except for it's uh, got a little bit of rust. You can see a little bit on here. Otherwise, the wood is is dirty and nasty, but probably clean, cleanable. Take a look at the other one. This one is uh, considerably more rusty, and it's got the shroud on the sight on the front. And a bit more rust here in the action, and here on the bolt, but uh, it seems to be mostly surface rust. The firing pin and the bolt, everything seems to be good. It will fire but it's gummed up so it doesn't click but it does release it so uh, seems like it's a pretty good deal for the $99 each I got for them for so here's a close-up view of the rusted receiver you can see a little bit of rust here on the receiver and then on the bolt um, here see a little bit more up on the top a bit of rust in there but not too bad, not as bad as I was expecting. Action still works. If you look on the back there, you can see the see that it fires. It's the gum cleaned off. You look here on the front, you can see the import marks. And the front's actually pretty clean. So there's not really that much rust on the barrel, and I'm hoping the bore is pretty good. I can't really tell because it's kind of caked with the Cosmoline mud in there, but it looks pretty good. No cleaning rod with either one of them. Um, the bands look fairly good holding things together. And the wood, quite dirty, but good and solid. So I plan to clean off the Cosmoline and sand the stock down just a little bit. Not too much to not lose some of the, the markings in the wood and some of the battle marks it might have. But plate a bit rusted and needs some cleaning up. Let's take a look at the other one. This one's a lot cleaner, not as much rust in the in, on the receiver and the bolt. Much cleaner. And uh, again the muzzle ends pretty clean we don't have the, the shroud on the front side there but again wood wood's not bad here you can see they've at some point done a repair job and added a screw on the front there I don't know if it's been stripped or what the deal is but got two screws there on the front and I'm not sure if there's even a screw here in the back but uh, Overall, very pleased. The numbers don't match very well. Um, the bolt does matches, doesn't match the receiver. We've got a forced match here on the bottom, which also matches the butt plate, I believe. But uh, overall, I'm really pleased with the shooters. They should, I mean, they should make good, good shooters. So I am new two uh, eight millimeter Mausers. So I'm not exactly sure what is standard, but here you can see both of them have the double screws. I don't know if that's normal or if they've been repaired or what the deal is. See this one has a fair amount of rust on the underside on the trigger guard. And this one's a lot more clean. So I'm gonna be working on the one that's a little bit more clean first. The one that is uh, actually missing the the shroud over the the site, which I'm a little disappointed. Maybe I can take the one off the other one and put it on there because I, I prefer the the one that's a little, in a little better shape. Um, but uh, overall, I'm 
really quite pleased with the with these Mausers that I got from J&G Cells. Got them sight unseen and the pictures that I saw on their website were uh, quite a bit rougher than these seem to be. Um, especially since I don't really seem to see very much rust at all on the front ends and I checked the barrel out a little bit and it's hard to see because it's full of cosmoline but they they look like they might clean up quite nicely. The bolt here on this one really doesn't have a lot of rust on it. You can see it's kind of got this this gummy brown stuff. It's kind of brown probably from a little bit of rust, maybe from a little bit of age, but otherwise uh, looks very nice. Got a little bit of a gouge here on this one on the wood, but uh, the wood is actually quite complete on both of them. Um, it's very dark and very oily and should clean up nice though once I get a little time into them and then I'll see if I can sand off the top surface of it and then I plan to finish them without additional stain with some boiled linseed oil here we've got uh, this side's pretty clean but this other one has got a fair amount of rust here it might be a little difficult to remove some of these screws I'm not sure um, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, overall, I'm quite pleased with the quality. You can see there the that'll focus the uh, import markings. Seeing there a, a Zastava eight millimeter, and imported by PW Arms out of Virginia. So. Overall, quite pleased.